You guys wanted a code open? You got it. I'm Kevin the Skull Anderson. And this cold open is going to take up the entirety of this episode of Talking to Myself News. Now, if for some reason I give you people the impression that this is in fact a sequel to my Christmas Eve 2013 vlog titled, I'm a Failure at Life, which is my most viewed video, by the way. Because it's something that everyone can relate to. Then, I don't blame you a bit. You're entitled to think however you wish. I'm entitled to accept it or reject it as I see fit. I never asked to be born into this world. I never even wanted to be born. But I was born because God, being the almighty great spirit that he is. That guy right up there. That guy. He gave me all the knowledge I'd ever needed to know in this life when I was born. And he trusted me to the point in which one day, one day, I would see it. And you know what? I can honestly say, in the nearly 26 years that I've been alive, I see it. For the first time in my life. I see it. And I accept it. So here is everything that I've ever come to know in this life. When I was born, the doctors took one good look at me and they knew I was a fucked up human being. Which is all that I was ever going to be. And I'm alright with that. You know. First of all. I don't. I don't need your sympathy. Your sympathy means nothing to me. I don't want it. But the fact that a video that I made six and a half years ago has garnered some three, four thousand views on YouTube and is my most viewed channel and consists of me feeling sorry for myself dictates the worthlessness of what is remaining of this human race. Technically, humanity died six and a half years ago. Why and how does this relate to this? The question is, it doesn't, but it all connects like a jigsaw puzzle. You just got to put the pieces to... By the way, my whole life has been a jigsaw puzzle. 
And here's the thing, right? I've wanted to give up so many times. So many times. But something in me, that great spirit that lives in me, somewhere in my bloodstream told me to keep going. So I do. I keep going. And I will. Because I know to see this until my very end. I cannot dictate when that is. Nobody I know can dictate when that is. Not even the angels above or Jesus Christ himself can dictate when that day is. The one being that is going to dictate when and how I die is God. So I trust him. He's the guy I trust. He's the only entity that I trust. And I'm down with that. I'd rather be one with God than to be down with the devil. Because if you're down with the devil, obviously... You're the problem. You know, I am probably, if you ever saw me in person and saw my life summed up in one day, you would know without question, without any question whatsoever, that I am easily the most stubborn person you will ever meet in your entire life. I say this with a clean mind, nothing positive or negative in there except for my brain. Because God knows I need to use 100% of my brain to fully understand the shit that is life. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was born on a Tuesday in July, on the morning of that day and that month in 1993, Bill Clinton a sexual predator and serial rapist was president. And the first lady of this nation at that time was a serial killer. Let me reiterate that. Let me reiterate that. All right? I'm, I'm starting to sound like fucking Elmer Fudd. What the hell's wrong with me? But when I was born, a serial child rapist was president and his wife, a serial killer, was first lady. Let that sink in, people. Because you people, and you know who you are, and I know who you are, and I trust that you know who you are, were completely stupid for having voted for him. Like I was completely stupid for thinking that Obama in 2012 was the lesser of two evils when it turned out that Obama was just evil. He wasn't the lesser or the more of two evils. He was just evil. He was the only evil. And as you can tell, in the last few months, I have gained quite a bit of weight. I feed myself very well. I feed my animals pretty well. And I take good care of them pretty well, just as I would myself. You understand, people. Now, this video, and I will link you to this as soon as I upload this. Keep in mind that I am recording this on the 11th, 12th, or 13th day of April, on a Saturday in 2019, approximately three months, nearly three months, 
until my 26th birthday. And on my 26th birthday, I'm going to have to swap out something and update something. You, you all can relate to that. And you all know who you all are. To put it to you bluntly, I am exactly what you are. And you are exactly what I am. And we all are born to live and die and amount to absolutely nothing. We will amount to nothing. But, and I stress this, I stress this. We can make the most out of that nothing as much as we can. As much as we can. We can make the most out of that nothing, and that's all that will ever matter. You understand? So that someday, it could be any day of the week, any time of day that you choose, We'll be able to accept it. We'll accept it for what it is. It might not be right away, but we'll accept it one day. And that's a fact proven in time. An absolute truth retold to us constantly by ancient philosophers who are no longer with us, who died thousands of years ago. And that's that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as much as I want to just give up, as much as I want to give up, I don't. Because I know better. Because there is a God that lives just as much up above as he does through me and through all of you and through all these plants, these trees and the sky and the clouds. He tells me every day when I'm at my worst and I just want to fucking give up on everything. He tells me this one thing. You may be done with life. But you've got to keep going because life is not done with you. So I willingly do this. I do this to prove my point that a man who is legitimately retarded, that's me, I am legitimately partially retarded, selectively mind you, selectively, I am retarded selectively, there's nothing mental about it, and it's because of my stubbornness. Which is not as fortunate as I would care to let on, but it's fortunate anyway. Because I learned from it. Whether I want to or not is irrelevant. You see, I go about this life, right? I go about this life And I live, and I'm going to go out for a walk, by the way. I don't ever do this in my videos, but fuck it. I'm trying something new for once. Because I have no life, and I don't have anything else to do in my spare time, except play on my computer, interact with people on the media, social media. Because fuck the mainstream media. That doesn't mean a damn thing. You'll see where I'm going with this in a moment. If you haven't already. But basically, in this life, the only life that we'll ever know we are destined at some point in time 
to expire. All human beings, all animals, all birds and plants eventually die and become no more. God himself defined this upon our being born. And that's why I'm never owning a dog. The point I'm trying to make, though, is, is very simple, ladies and gentlemen. I walk around, and I'm talking to you now. I'm doing it now in this video that I have recorded. And I've given you the date of this video, so by the time I've uploaded this video, I'll have already done it. I'll have already taken this walk three days removed, or maybe a week. I don't know when my internet's coming back, because... Well, the internet's out right now, obviously. But that's pretty much it, isn't it? But yeah, the thing is, you know, life sucks. Life sucks and then you die. We can't do anything about it. And I know that I can't do anything about it, so I accept it. I embrace the chaos. Because that's all of this fucking life. That's all it's full of. It's chaos. But my problem, my problem, and yes, this will never have a cure except for the one that God provides for me, which is the only cure, by the way. My problem is that I am an adolescent trapped eternally in a grown man's body. Because when you have four mental ailments that are really advantages in life, that is what happens to you. You become selectively retarded by default, although it's up to you to grow out of it. I want to make this very clear to you people. This episode of Talking to Myself News is a very special one to me. Because if I do make it to old age and I'm not able to remember it, I can look back at this 40, 50, 60 years from now and at least know that that was legitimately me. I have a book series, the first trilogy of which I've already completed and revised. I have 40 albums that I have written between October 2013 and January of 2019. That, to be completely realistic, I will never have the money to afford to publish or copyright in my name. Under four respective musical projects that I happen to be the only sole member of. I'm alright with that. If that's my faith, then that's my fate. Because you can't change fate there's not a damn thing you can do when that fate is given to you. You have to fucking go with it, and you have to fucking roll with it a thousand fucking percent. Or to be more realistic, a hundred percent. Because nobody technically can give more than a hundred percent. But I am just one of the exceptions to this rule.
People, I want you to listen. If you think that I'm just going to off myself and commit suicide, then you are the dumbest piece of shit that has ever existed. Because obviously you know nothing about any single solitary thing that I'm about. So listen to me, people. Yes. I'm talking to you. If you ever feel that you're not worth life, that you're not worth the fucking life you were given, just keep going. Don't give up. Don't be a selfish fucking bastard. Keep going. No matter what happens. No matter how much shit you have to go through. No matter how many fucking hoops you have to jump over. No matter how much red tape you have to traverse. In a world that's full of it. You gotta keep going. You keep going. And that's it. You let absolutely nothing stop you from becoming the person that you so desperately spend your life aspiring to be. Because I'm doing my best to follow by that example and lead by it every single day. Now, I'm not necessarily what you would call a role model. In fact, hell, I'm the furthest thing from it, I'll tell you that now. And I'm not ashamed or proud to admit it. I feel nothing. But you don't have to be a role model to others to show them that perseverance, persistence, and passion for the truth. To strive towards everything that is right with life and to be in as good a standing with God as you possibly can be is the only thing that will truly make your life worth living. You do this in however an amount of time God allows you in this life, and then He calls you up to His kingdom above in His judgment realm, and He tells you, based on how good you're standing with Him is, at the end of your life, where you go. How you get to the end of your life does not matter. You have to let God write that final chapter. And I know I'm probably just trying to be a Billy Graham or a Dr. Charles Stanley. But the fact is, I'm a regular human being. I'm a regular jack-off. Just like you. Just like each and every single one of you. I'm a human being. Now, I want to make this clear to you. I want to make this absolutely clear to you. If you have seen my Fur Affinity account, and I'll link you to it if, if you want it, I can link it to you. Just comment on it. Just comment on this video and tell me to link you to my Fur Affinity profile. I will do that. As a matter of fact, hell, I'll do you one better. I will link my Fur Affinity account in the description of this video. And I will link the video in question that I referred to at the start of this video from December the 21st or December the 24th, Christmas Eve of 2013. 
and I will link you to my Gmail, I will link you to my Instagram, I will link you to my Pinterest, I will link you to my Facebook, I will link you to my DeviantArt and my Tumblr. I will do that. If I have to, and the situation calls for it, which it will when I upload this video, I will do that. I do not mind the extra traffic. In fact, I could care more or less about it than anyone else, but, I mean, that's just me. Now, let's get back on topic here. Let me go ahead and tell you why I'm really doing this video. Alright? So, as I'm speaking to you, I'm going to share with you, if you haven't figured this out already, the purpose of this video. Considering that I was born with a very powerful mind, a mind of which is more powerful than most people's ever will be, the doctors knew, they knew without a doubt that something was just that fucked up about me. And it was all in my mind. So I have been carrying this bird willingly for 26 years. But if you think that I'm just going to off myself, which I'm not, I'm going to let God do that in his own time, however the hell long that takes. It's up to me to just see it the whole way through, and I will. I'll see it the whole way through, as long as it takes. If I have to live to be 119, I will. I don't care. But if you think I'm just going to off myself like this and just give up, first of all, I'm not. Second of all, I'm going to get through this. I will get through this, and you know damn well that I'll get through this, even though you assume the opposite. And lastly, you know fuck all about anything that I possess in my mind. I want to make it clear to you people. My bark is infinitely more effective than my bite. But at the end of the day, my stubbornness being my best trait is also my worst flaw. And half of the days, the former will be proven, and half of the other days, the latter will be proven. But at least I know which is which. And at least I know to balance the tool out every now and then. Now, as you know, most people who are autistic on the lower end of the Asperger spectrum have slurred speech. From time to time. Which sums me up quite nicely, actually. I slur my words from time to time. I mispronounce shit from time to time. So do most people. And there's absolutely no shame or pride in that. So people, I want you to understand one thing. I make a facial expression. Because you know, I absolutely have to stretch my face a little bit. I have to measure the strength of my face. People do that. That's a thing. Well, I want to make things very, very clear to you. 
I have vices, as I've mentioned before, which I will link you to through my Fur Affinity page. But I also want you to know, in addition to my stubbornness, in addition to my extraordinary capabilities in the realms of talent and entertainment, I can also be one of the hardest working people I know. Whenever I put my mind to something, and whenever I commit to something, I don't stop until I get it done. That's what I do. How I do it will forever be an unsolved mystery to me because I will never figure that out. But to be honest about it and realistic, I'm going to be stuck in arrested development for the remainder of my life. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. So I will conclude by saying this. If you ever feel genuinely that you just want to off yourself, don't give up. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep living. But before you do that, call the fucking National Suicide Hotline so that they can help you get through whatever incomparable bullshit you're going through. They have helped people out every single day in situations much worse than mine. And I know quite a few of those whose situations are much worse than mine. I can tell you that now. But as far as I can tell, I am not giving up, so I'm going to keep going, I will persevere, I will survive, I will outlast, I will improvise, I will adapt, and I will overcome. Because it's what I do. So until the next regular episode of Talking to Myself News, because by the way, this one is the outlier. Until we meet again, I shall wait for you in cyberspace. So with that, I bid you a very heartfelt adieu. See you on the next video! Have a good day. Don't steal.